So this week I've been setting up Stripe payment on my digital product and I thought I'd share everything I've learned so you don't have to spend as many hours as I have. For those who are new, my name is Sergio Lace and every Sunday I share stories on my software journey. This is week 20 and I have 900 euros left in savings. I'm still not ready to scale, but I feel I'm getting closer. You can subscribe or join my newsletter down below if you want to follow the journey. All right, let's get into it. So Stripe is the best in class platform for online payments. If you're building a SaaS business, a marketplace or selling a course, 80% of the time Stripe is behind taking care of the payments. So in my case, I use Stripe to charge monthly subscriptions and here's how simple it is. After creating an account, we can create different products inside of Stripe. For example, a monthly plan or a yearly plan would be two different products. We can set the payment to be recurring like a subscription or to be one-off payment. Once the product is created, we can jump straight into the payment links and here create a new link for each of our products. This link is literally the checkout so our clients can purchase our products. So we can share this link directly with our customers, a bit unprofessional or we can simply drop these links inside of our website. This way, the user is taken automatically to the checkout process. We also have an option to bring the customer back once the purchase is completed. Great, so here's what I do. I design a pricing table inside my website builder and simply drop the links to each specific button. So the user is taken to the checkout for that product. This is a simple example because I just have two products. If you have a larger product catalog, like Airbnb, for example, there's a ton of products here. It gets a bit more complicated, but still doable. Stripe has a very robust API to connect our application with them. So the correct way to do this is to set up an API call where we start a checkout session and we pass the specific information for that product. So if we were talking about Airbnb, we would pass the Airbnb name, image, description, price per day, I don't know, whatever. This way we'd set up the checkout process just once and we can use this same checkout with hundreds of products, which makes it nice and easy to manage large volumes of products. But this can get even more automated to manage commissions for each sale. We can use Stripe to charge commissions to our marketplace sellers. So following the example of Airbnb, Stripe has this connect feature where we can onboard marketplace sellers with their Stripe accounts. So in this case, the people who own the Airbnbs, they can directly charge the customer with their Stripe accounts connected to ours. And we take a cut from this transaction process. So if they're charging 100 euros for an Airbnb and we charge 10% commission, the user pays 100 euros from which 90 goes to the seller Stripe account and 10 euro commission stays in our account for facilitating the sale. This makes our marketplace transactions much more automated automated. Stripe takes care of distributing the funds to sellers and you just keep the commission super transparent with the seller. Plus you simplify your accounting process a lot. Anyway, that's how we can charge customers using Stripe. Now I want to share another way I use Stripe to supercharge my product. So I have an accounting platform for solopreneurs and many solopreneurs use Stripe to manage their online payments. So this week I've been working on a feature where users can automatically import the Stripe sales into this accounting software in real time so they can have their sales and expenses in the same place. To make this work, I've used Stripe webhook this is just a method where Stripe communicates when a purchase has happened. Like, hey, someone purchased and here are the details of this purchase. Like the customer name, email, quantity, amount, and so on. So for this, I created a new webhook in Stripe, selected the type of events I want to listen to. There's a ton of events happening in Stripe. But for this case, I just want to be informed of the checkout session completed with all the data associated to this purchase. Great, so now I set up the webhook inside my platform. So every time Stripe sends a purchase event, we create a new database entry for this event with all the data data stored in the correct place. In this way, Stripe sales are automatically imported into our accounting software. So yeah, that was all for the basics of Stripe. There's a ton of things we can do with this platform and it certainly makes it much simpler to manage online payments. For anyone interested in ChatGPT, I used AI to automatically read expenses inside my platform. So the user uploads an invoice expense. We call ChatGPT to read the invoice like magic and we create a new entry for this expense. This way we can have sales and expenses nice and clean in the same place. I made a video last week on ChatGPT for anyone interested. This was super interesting for me. And yeah, that's all for this week. Thanks for spending your time with me and I'll see you in the next one.